Hombali Films brings to you RCB 12th Man TV. Soaring on a streak of brilliance with four wins in a row, the Indian cricket team is up against arguably its next big challenge in the World Cup. And of course, having been undefeated in the World Cup so far, the Indian cricket team facing New Zealand in Dharamshala, this truly will be a mouth-watering affair. India! 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 India do have a dominating 29 to 8 head to head record versus New Zealand in ODIs at home. But what makes New Zealand a dangerous side? Our 12th man army shared their thoughts on this exciting World Cup clash. The battle for the top spot on the points table. What do you think will define this India New Zealand clash? Uh, it will be mostly uh, with the uh, Trent Bowles left arm uh, bowling against the Indian uh, right hand batting, right? Uh, Roy Sharma facing Trent Bowl will define the match. Uh, since India have two. Uh, two batsmen in the top, top two, and since in, in, since all, New Zealand have two ballers in the top, I personally feel like it's going to be a tough match. Let's see what happens. I feel like India is going to win, but it's going to be a tough match. Indian batsmen in the top order, especially, have faced challenges with uh, left arm pace. So I think Bolt, we have to watch out for him. And Santner has the most wickets in this World Cup. Also him. The last four matches that India has played, they all have been low scoring. Um, this is primarily because of our bowlers. Um, so our strong bowling will define this match for me. Alright, yeah, I think we are starting off where we left in 2019 semi-final and it's going to be interesting how Rohit Sharma faces uh, Matt Henry and Trent Bolt. So I hope we bat first and go to get a good 350 something. Then our bowlers can do the damage. Uh, hopefully we'll have a good outing against them unlike the last time which is unforgettable in a way. It still hurts. So it's time for revenge. Uh, when India and New Zealand are involved, I think you're always going to say the numbers 5 and 3 now and you just kind of want to forget it. But I think that's what it's going to come down to, right? How the top order deals with uh, people like Trent Bolt. That would make a massive difference. But that said, given how Rohit's been batting, I think if Rohit lasts like 20-25 overs, I think the game's in our hands. So. Rohit Sharma, right now in form he's in, I think if he can accelerate India's innings right at the start, get on top of Trent Bowl, like build pressure, uh, get some early runs, I think that'll be super beneficial because we know how good the New Zealand bowlers are. And especially at Dharamshala where there's more swing and seam compared to all of the other venues, I think a good start by Rohit and Shubman is going to be extremely important. Battle between table toppers is never easy, but which Indian player do you think will play a crucial role in this game? I'm gonna go bold. I'm gonna say Shardul. I think I think his role now against New Zealand is extremely crucial because we don't have Hardik for that game. Now is the time to actually like show what he's capable of. Virat Kohli. He is certainly a you a good performance against New Zealand. I think he hasn't like scored a 15 like five six games against them. The last time India played the New Zealand at Dharamshala. Uh, India were victorious and uh, Virat Kohli scored about 84 or 85 more runs, I think. Of course, if India wins the toss, uh, India batting first, it will be Rohit Sharma. If India will chasing, it will be Virat Kohli, of course. I think uh, Kohli, you've seen, um, scored a century against Bangladesh and uh, one of the leading top scorers of this World Cup. Uh, it's going to be Rohit Sharma. I'm rooting for Rohit Sharma. He will uh, probably uh, go be, for a long innings. Yeah, Hale is gonna go for long innings and probably will uh, get a hundred in this uh, match. Player of the match, Rohit Sharma. Because if India has to win this game, India has to dominate in the power play. If he makes um, not even a century, even a 70, 80 odd with a strike rate of 120, 25, I think that could be the defining factor for India. All right, I, I think uh, Ravin Jadeja, he's just one hand distance away from that man of the match trophy from last four games. So I think he's going to be the key factor for India. Uh, I've got a really, really weird choice for this, but I think uh, Sky might come in right for Hardik. And if I think if that happens, I think he might make a difference with like a few big hits towards the end. And I'm hoping to see see more of that. I think I'll go with Bumra. On a normal pitch, on a flat track like Ahmedabad, he was almost unplayable. Imagine what he can do when the ball's nipping around a bit. So I think, especially if he can get a couple of early wickets, especially of Devon Conway rather, and Rachin Ravindra with the way he is playing, if he can get a couple of early wickets with Bumra, I think um, he's going to be the man for me.
A picturesque setting in Dharamshala awaits what promises to be an excellent cricket match as both the teams are seeking for yet another victory, having won four matches in the tournament so far. It's a battle between the number one team versus the number two on the points table. India versus New Zealand on October 22nd. It's going to be a super Sunday. Who do you think will be the player of the match? Do let us know in the comments below.